You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is After Buzz TV's Supernatural After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Supernatural After Show. Welcome, everybody. We are rocking down the highway, just like Sam and Dean do every week. Uh, Bing is for doing, and we're doing another After Buzz Super, Supernatural show for you guys. Uh, this is uh, Season 9, Episode 2. Uh, I'm your host, Tom Connolly, and with me tonight is Hi, Lindsay I'm Lindsay Wagner. Wagner. How's How you doing tonight? Good, how are you? Good. good. I'm going to ask you, wait, now if we're rolling down the highway as Sam and Dean, are yeah. you Sam or are you Dean? I'm Dean, sorry. You're Dean. <gasps> <gasps> I have to be the whiny one. I think Dean whines a lot more than Sam. No, I feel like <laughs> Sam whines. No, no, no. I, yeah, I feel like Sam whines more. He's just more like, mm. he's brooding. Mm. Yeah. But Dean is more, you know, he kicks butt. He's funny. Yeah. Man. That's All why right. I Dean. You Sorry. said it first. You get to be Dean. I'll be Sam. We'll switch Not that next. I mind. Next week you can be, you can be <laughs> Dean. I'll be Sam. Uh, but yeah, so season nine, episode two. Devil may care. Yeah. Does the devil care? I think he does a little bit. I think <laughs> we so find too. Out a well, later. <laughs> who's we have to decide really who the main devil's going to be? If it's going to be Abaddon or Crowley? Yeah. Well, they're looking yeah. for somebody's looking to be in charge. Yeah, I think the, I think the devil that they're talking about in this episode title is definitely Crowley. Yes. About caring. Mm-hmm. Um, this episode started, you know, eerie, eerie like most episodes. Uh, you saw just a body bag, someone dragging it, and they see this. Uh, really like crispy corpse being put into a tub and you know demon cuts his wrist pours some blood over it and who do we see Abaddon Abaddon appears it's the black smoke yes coming out yes it's totally the lost it mechanical yeah. the monster the yeah lost. the monster coming <laughs> out uh, yeah so Abaddon's back she's back. back she looks better than ever she does she looks great yeah very beautiful girl Beautiful. Yeah. She's got she's got a good vessel going. Definitely. Definitely so. does. <laughs> I'll agree with you on that one. <laughs> and she's got her minions now. Yeah. I'm doing some work for her. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, she was basically recruiting now, recruiting other demons to help her because her main mission now is to get back to hell, release get all power. the demons, yeah, and then, you know, run ravage on Earth and, you know, and she was looking for Crowley. Yeah. She wants to find him. I mean, that's the whole point of mm-hmm. her getting to Dean and Sam is to find Crowley and, you know, figure out who can be in charge. Yeah. But first, they all need to get into stronger bodies. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, all her, know, her, uh, her minions. minions <laughs> you know, taking over, you know, as they did in this episode, Marines. Mm-hmm. Smart choice on their part. Yeah, I did like the the grandma. I wish she would have stayed around. But, I did too. Yeah. She she stood up to her a little bit. Mm-hmm. She she gave her a you know a good a, a questioning power that I liked. But yeah. you know, I mean, I th- she had a good point. She was like, you know, that she was like, why are you you know an old woman? She's like, well, little kids love old love old grandma, so they're easy to you know. Take over and take control. Possessed. And, yeah. So, um, but Abaddon didn't like that, and nope. you know, and they she, all took over new strong bodies. Yeah. Yeah. After well, then they wanted them to prove that that Crowley is dead. They yes. wanted her to prove that. Mm-hmm. And she kind of was like, "Well, I know he's dead. I didn't. He, I she wants seen proof, him. though. Yeah. Yeah. She wants proof. Yeah, She's got to find out for proof. sure. Yeah. And uh, Abaddon didn't like that, so dead she went. <laughs> no more grandma demon. Bye. <laughs> See ya. So we had three Marines. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. Taking over bodies on a bus mm-hmm. and black smoke, and we have a crime scene. Yeah. Uh, I did like that part. A crime scene. <laughs> the Sam and Dean show up <clears throat> with their FBI badges, like always, and with the help of Kevin. Let's yeah. let's go back to yeah. let's go back to them coming into the bunker mm-hmm. for the first time since. Since everything well, happened. So since Kevin everything hasn't happened. Seen them since, since last yeah. season. And we we see Kevin, and Kevin says that he's been locked in there, and he thinks that the reason 
everything maybe reset because it was all, you know, in disarray or whatever. Mm. Or it wasn't working, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but he thinks it was reset when the guys came in. But Dean didn't. I think he just thought he was going a little crazy being yeah. there by himself. Um, <laughs> but that was the first time they were in the bunker yeah. since everything happened. Mm. And Kevin was alone by himself for quite some time. Mm. So he was getting a little... Yeah. Crazy. I think Kevin's sick of being alone. Last I think so season too. he was alone basically the whole season, you know, trapped on that boat. Now he's, you know, trapped in the bunker. So he just wants to, you know, live his life. He wants to be done with this whole profit thing. But that's you know, it's it's, a, it's only safe way for him to be in the bunker there is to because he's a prophet. He that's the yeah. only safe area he has. Mm. Yeah. You know, and that's why it would seem so appealing when Crowley's giving him him an option mm. later on. I can't yeah. believe it though. I'm sitting there going, <laughs> "What are you doing? You heard Dean and Sam say, "Don't go in there. Leave Crowley yeah. alone. Let him be." You know, because they brought him into mm-hmm. the bunker. They have him there. He's actually Crowley's actually thinking like. I mean, in the dark, yeah. locked alone, mm-hmm. nobody around. You're left alone with your thoughts and everything you've done. And I think he's actually starting to, you know, the wheels are turning. And, you know, leave him alone. And then we see Kevin walking up and the lights go on. And Crowley kind of snaps out of this, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, maybe it was like, it was dreary a flashback, moment. It was a flashback yeah. to last season when, when Sam was trying to uh, basically, you know, heal, de- heal, heal him. And Crowley was yelling, you know, I deserve to be loved. I deserve to be loved. <laughs> Which is, I guess is flashing back. Like, I think, you know, hopefully we'll, like, delve into that later in the season. And I feel like maybe we'll see, it'd be cool to see, like, a flashback episode of Crowley before he became Yeah, a that'd be really interesting. Yeah. To see what his life was like before, why he mm-hmm. kind of came to that and everything. I yeah. think so. That'd be yeah, like how he became possessed and all that. I think that'd be a really cool episode. Yeah, but then we see those lights flip on, and we know Kevin's in there, and I'm like, what are you doing? They told you to stay away. Like, you know you're going to get into trouble in here. And I think Crowley really makes him think about whether or not he should let him go or, Mm -hmm. you know, he hits him twice. Yeah. But he says his mom's out there. Yeah, like, well, mm-hmm. even though she, even though she died. Well, he, well, he told him that. He, he told him that he can bring her back, right? No, no, she's not. We don't really know. He was told that that Crowley killed her, but we never saw. We never saw her dead. We never saw him kill her. So I think that he. I think she is still alive. I just think Crowley like stuffed her away somewhere. I think it's a ploy. So, no, I think she. No. I think she's still okay. I think he's just trying to hurt the boys, and this is one way to hurt Dean and Sam is by getting Kevin to leave because then they don't have Kevin there to help them mm-hmm. with the things they did, like with the FBI situation. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I just I, I see the conflict between wanting to find out if his mother's alive and mm-hmm. out there and if he can find her versus helping out Sam and Dean and knowing that they're keeping him safe and yeah. he's safe and in this bunker mm. with them. He should just stay put. He Kevin, should just stay put. Stay put. Stay put. Don't go anywhere. Don't go near Crowley anymore. Yeah, that either. <laughs> Giving me like a heart attack over here. <laughs> but I did like when, when, you know, Sam and Dean come up with the, say they're the FBI and yes. the military lady, or the sergeant, she's like, she's like, this is a military issue. This isn't, F- this isn't FBI. And, uh, get Kevin on the phone yeah. and ask him how old he how old are you old enough? Yeah. <laughs> um, and finds out somewhat gossip. Well, he like hacks into the computer. He gets her name, hacks in, and sees like some risque picture of her <laughs> doing some shots in a Mexican wrestling mask or something in Cabo. And she quickly just says, "Okay, yeah, sure, you can get on the bus. Yes, and check sir. Out what's going on? <laughs> yes, sir. I wrote that down. And that was good because I feel like Bobby would be the one to do that before. Mm-hmm. And they don't really have someone to call to be like, "Oh, this is our boss." And sure. Was, and Kevin just first he was like, he, did, he, he didn't know what he was doing at first, and then he just but he fills the role yeah. and does it, ju- mm-hmm. and it ends up working out it for did, them yeah. and gets them to figure out that, you know, they see the footage, mm-hmm. they see Abaddon is back, yeah, and so they need to figure out what to do in order to basically cap- get rid of her, basically find her and get, get rid of her, capture her, yeah. And as we see with Abaddon, she's she starts coll- she starts finding other hunters. And collecting them and basically taking them hostage to to hold to mm-hmm. so she can get the Sam and Dean and get you know get get them to come to her mm-hmm. and that's the only way she can really think. But of then she doing starts that. she she blackmails them though or tortures them. The oh the, the, like yeah well yeah Herb she was torturing and Tracy the, yeah yeah she was torturing the other hunters the to, other to guy. get to get Sam and Dean mm-hmm. yeah and she but yeah she was she was hanging that one guy Peter the, yeah I think yeah she was hanging him and. I, we never saw him again, so I think he... Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, he bit the dust. 
<laughs> Sorry, Peter. Peter. Yeah. <laughs> you were fun for this 10 minutes of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So then we get all of them together. We mm -hmm. get, you know, Herb and Tracy, who doesn't like Sam. Yeah. Because of a story where she says, she explains to Dean saying that, she felt when Sam let, was it Lucifer out? Lucifer yeah. then mm -hmm. killed her parents. her parents. And so she obviously has this hatred for Sam. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I think this is why I made the comment about, like, oh, Sam's brooding or Sam's whining. And it's, he's saying, oh, well, you know, I've hurt all these people. But you have to look at that you're helping them, too. Like, mm -hmm. I understand, like, sure, you've got to feel that little bit of, like, uh, regret in maybe doing something and hurting somebody else. Mm -hmm. But if you're doing it for the good of something, I mean, what's what do you say yes to? What do you say no to? What's what's your limit? Yeah. What's the extent of what you're going to do to save people? Mm -hmm. You're going to have to hurt somebody to save, you know, yeah, however yeah, many millions. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I feel like, yeah, they, you know, when Sam let Lucifer out of his cage, you know, he was you know drinking demon blood and uh, with uh, Ruby at the time, who was another demon. So, mm -hmm. I mean, she was kind of, coercing him into doing it and he kind of did it reluctantly like he knew what he was doing but um he thought he was doing it for the right reasons not for you know the wrong reasons mm -hmm. and i mean after after all these years these guys have been doing this there's always been you know the casualties of people that it's have gotten happen. hurt over the th over the years and mm -hmm. it's either been you know people and they they've loved gotten hurt and, yeah mm -hmm. yeah people like their family members you know friends of family there's always been people that have you know had to die along the way mm -hmm. and I mean I can understand where Tracy's coming from that you know if he didn't let him out of hell then that maybe her would still be alive and you know then maybe she wouldn't be a hunter and you know maybe she wouldn't have turned to that lifestyle like they have but they also we we know people come back they're in purgatory mm. they're yeah. in, you know they're in hell they're in heaven we never know where they are they all they're all coming back I mean obviously mm. all the angels have fallen they're all confused right now as to what to do so you know who knows what they could they her parents could still be out there yeah she may reunite with them mm -hmm. later on. We we don't know that. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so she didn't she didn't trust Sam, so she didn't want to work with him. Mm -hmm. So Dean and her go off and do yeah. their own thing while mm -hmm. Sam and Herb go yeah. off. But mm -hmm. then we find out that Herb was the one that basically He's ratted gonna, them out mm -hmm. by Abaddon, kind of I guess seducing him in a hotel room. Yep. And, and he's gonna go in and be the the martyr and yeah take the blame and get killed by them so that they can actually overtake them mm -hmm. and get Abaddon. Yeah, and before he can even do that, he gets taken out, shot, because as the Marines have, they have assault rifles, and they're basically just scoping it out, sitting on top of the roof, waiting for them to show, mm -hmm. waiting for Sam, Dean, Tracy, and Herb to show themselves. And Sam gets beaten up pretty badly. Yes, yeah. Sam gets beaten up pretty badly, and then we see Abaddon capture Dean, mm -hmm. and... There was a good exchange between them. I like that a lot. Me, too. I I loved it, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, and he, he he made the joke, like, are you flirting with me, yeah. or are you trying to kill me? <laughs> yeah, you're trying she to got make out with me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, and she said she he's got the perfect vessel. I admit, mm. he does have the perfect <laughs> vessel. Uh, I don't actually. I don't want to be Dean. <laughs> what am I talking about? I don't want to be Dean. I don't want to be Sam either. I'll be. Yeah, I'm crazy. Um, I'll he's got be the, either of them. Yeah, yeah. he's got the I'll perfect take, vessel. He's yeah. strong. He, you know, he can. She can he's conquer smart. so much more mm -hmm. with his body, with yeah. his knowledge, with mm -hmm. with everything. So it'd be a great thing for her to, you know, overtake him. Yeah, but she gets thwarted. Yeah. Well. Well. Kind of. She kind of runs away, yeah. mostly, because we cut back to Sam. Oh, that's right. Sam, the in, light. Sam in, the, in the bar, in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. It's him in verse three demons. And he's getting beat up really, really badly. Yeah. And all of a sudden, we see this blue light coming mm -hmm. from his eyes and this brightness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the demon asked him, he says, you know, I thought you Winchesters were a lot tougher than this. Mm -hmm. And then next thing you know, Sam's eyes just start glowing. And you know that Sam isn't home anymore. It's, it's now Ezekiel, Ezekiel. Taking, on, yeah. taking over. And, and I... So say, he, well, I can't even like Sam Ezekiel. <laughs> they need like a mashup of their name. <laughs> Sam Ezekiel <laughs> uh, stands up, and and I thought the the shot that I thought was really cool was um, it was Ezekiel basically destroying all the demons in the in the in the restaurant, killing then, him with the silver sword, right? No, no. no well, he just kind of just like you know angel blasted them away. Okay. And uh, but I the 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 shot of the shadow. 
which most of the time we see we see just like the angel mm-hmm. with you know just the wings. But it was cool this time because you saw it was the angel wings, but it was Sam's shadow on the wall, mm-hmm. which I thought that was a really cool. Yeah, shot. Like, like you said, a mashup of two of them, mm-hmm. and that's when Ab- you're right. Abaddon ran off then because she said you you brought angels, and yeah. and Dean's like, do you not think we bring back up? <laughs> well, duh. And I, I don't think Dean really knew who it was at first. I, no. did, I thought he—I think he thought it was other angels coming to help them. Or I maybe, think he thought. Th- I think he well, thought that too. Yeah, it couldn't be Cass because Cass is human. But I think and Cass is in Cal- Colorado yeah, right now. He is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We didn't see him. Cass was a no Cass show was, in this episode. Cass was a no show this episode. But I've got news about him later on. Oh, okay. I'll tell you guys oh, okay. later. Ooh, news and gossip. I can't wait. Woo <laughs> uh, But uh, so Abaddon splits. Uh, Dean goes inside and. It's and not, it's, Ezekiel it's Ezekiel at this Ezekiel. time. Yeah, which he, he he now refers to him as Zeke. Zeke. Yeah. He gives him a nickname. Because <laughs> Dean can't call anybody by their full name. <laughs> <laughs> He's got too much time on it. He doesn't have enough time. Yeah. He has to just call him Zeke. Um, and Dean basically is he's conflicted because he's able to talk to Sam, but it's not Sam. It's, it's Zeke. not really him. Yeah. And he's just looking at him, basically having a conversation, but... Sam isn't the one responding to him at mm-hmm. all, and he just he it's, it's Ezekiel, that'd be yeah. that'd be weird. Like you're looking at you know, your brother, but it's not your brother at all. You're talking to, it's someone with a completely different mindset. Like he knows all Sam's memories, because he's inside of him. Mm-hmm. But he he's gonna answer how Ezekiel would answer, not how and Sam that, would answer. So there's no there's no chemistry there. There's no love there. Mm-hmm. There's almost like an allegiance maybe or a respect. Yeah. Because he's obviously healing Sam from the inside. Mm-hmm. But, and Sam was getting hurt yet again. Yeah. So he had to. Mm-hmm. He had to take over. Yeah. We, we they said he was. Gonna, they said they were going to kill. He yeah. was gonna, they were going to kill mm-hmm. Sam. And I thought, um, you know, uh, Zeke said to um, Dean. He said, you know, or Z- Dean asked him if he's a good guy, and Zeke said, I am a good guy. And he said, Well, I suppose that is what a good guy, what a bad guy would, would say. say. And he said, Dean Winchester, you are doing the right thing. Mm-hmm. So, I'm still kind of out on. I can't tell if he's, you know, gonna turn on them or if he's. I know. hope not. I mean, we don't know exactly. We don't know whose side Ezekiel could be on. He mm-hmm. could be on Crowley's side. So, getting rid of Abaddon, her minions, mm-hmm. might be on his list of things to do. And this is able to get him closer. Yeah. To having Crowley be in charge, mm-hmm. but we don't know. Yeah. Um. Let's see here. And then we get more, and then basically go back to Kevin and uh, Kevin. And, well, we go back to Crowley. Yeah, Crowley. And and <laughs> Dean and Sam walk in, mm-hmm. and they're yelling for Kevin, and, and we don't know where yeah. Kevin is. And he goes in there, and Crowley gives up two names. Yeah, like and the that. Names were, were and the names were Martin Hayward and Brandon Favors, the demon names. And he said they were underperforming. Mm. Yeah. So that's why he could give them yeah. those names. Because because at the, at first when they first brought Crowley into their into the bunker. They, you know, locked him up and said, you know, we want the name of every demon and the, and the human that they're possessing because we want to take them all out. Mm-hmm. Because, they, you know, they have the king of hell. He knows where they all are, hopefully. And Crowley was like, no, I'm not giving up names. <laughs> I'm going to sit here. Nope. Like, I'm not making a deal with you. And then we find out that, you know, he's going to kind of play ball with them on this. Mm-hmm. Say, okay, I'll give you two names. And they're like, well, what's the catch? And he's like, well, oh, Kevin is my new... It's my new little toy. Yeah, my new favorite toy, which I thought... Uh, that scared me at first. That scared I, me, too. I thought... And, I our, like, and our video froze yeah. at that moment. <laughs> and I literally go, no! Oh, my God! Oh, my God, no! I'm like, no, no, is Kevin alive or dead? We find out. Yeah, he's alive. He's alive, but he wants to leave. Yeah. He wants to go and find his mom. He says his mom's out there. Crowley's told him that. Crowley's still there. He hasn't left. Mm-hmm. He's, you know, but luckily... Dean convinces him to stay, that he yeah. needs to be there. That's the only way he can be safe. I thought, and I thought that was a good, that was a, a very touching Brotherly. moment. Yeah. He said, yeah. we're family. Yeah, he was like, we're family. It's like Dean, Sam, Kevin, and Cass, they're mm-hmm. all in this together till the end. And they, it, I mean, and Dean basically, you know, he's like, he's like, we would die for you, you know, to help you. So, mm-hmm. I mean, so I, I think Kevin definitely needed to hear that because if not, he was just ready to bail. He's, yeah, he's and ready he, to he go and to be find his free. Mom. And he just wants to, he wants to go back to being, I think he's probably like, you know, 18 or 19. Mm-hmm. He just wants to go back to living his normal life yeah. that he was doing before he was tapped to be a prophet. Well, you Crowley know? Crowley made a good point. He said, Crowley's like, I'm here in chains, you're here in chains. Mm-hmm. We both are locked up. 
uh, it's just, it's, it's, I guess it's technically for both of their safety yeah. and the world's <laughs> safety to be locked up, but more so for Kevin to, you know, not be found and to, to be able to continue to help them mm -hmm. and make sure that they're doing good with the angel tablet and yeah. everything like that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so, and they're basically trying to find a way to kill Abaddon. She seems like she's at least for now the, you know, main villain mm -hmm. of this season. And we cut to, at the end, uh, you know, an exchange between Sam and Dean and Sam really just almost obsessing over the fact that he's hurt people. Mm -hmm. And has it been for the good? Has it been for the bad? And... I like I like when they were like, they're like, you know, we have Kevin, demons, angels, Cass losing his halo, and Crowley in the in our basement. <laughs> and Demon's like, it's basically like we're living in a damn sitcom. Yeah. <laughs> What's gonna happen next? Yeah, exactly. That's gonna happen next week. But uh, I think that I liked how it ended on a very calm moment. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, not obviously the world isn't at peace. They've got Crowley in the basement. There's mm -hmm. Abaddon out there, stalking to you know kill the next person. Mm -hmm. But between the two of them, there's peace. There's, you know, that brotherhood, that concern and care about each other and wanting to do good. And it doesn't make me worry like, oh, my God, I have to wait till next week to see what's going to happen. See, I but I'm, I'm the opposite way of that. Oh, really? Yeah, because I felt like because Sam said, you know, he's the happiest he's ever been in his life for the first time. And, like, the things are good. And that scared me because is that him saying it or is it Ezekiel yeah. saying it? Mm -hmm. Like, Or is he saying that things are good because he feels, you know, an angel inside of him, but he doesn't realize it. So that's why he thinks things are good. But I think things outside are, you know, things out, out in the Everything world Everything outside are, are, of them, they're out horrible. of their control, yeah. is, is out of control. Mm -hmm. You're right. But I know that, yeah, yeah, that did make me kind of <laughs> worry was that him saying it was partly Ezekiel saying it. And like mm -hmm. we said, they discussed again, Ezekiel said, Sam has no recollection of this. Mm -hmm. He won't remember anything that's happening. Yeah, yeah. So after, yeah, it, and Dean, after after Sam woke up after the, the demons were destroyed, Dean was just like, "Oh yeah, you got knocked out, and I came in and I, you know, I saved kicked all the butts. Again. I'm awesome." And Sam's like, "Yeah, wow, you really are awesome. You killed three yeah. three of them. <laughs> you how'd you kill them?" And Sam's got the sword there. He's like, "Yeah, mm -hmm. with the sword, yeah. I, you know." And I, I mean, as much as. I, f I feel like Sam is, you know, reading into that and being like, oh, wow, I, I can't believe you did that. But I think, I feel like he's eventually going to be like, I'm getting knocked out all the time. He's, Why am I not remembering things? He's eventually going to realize that, yeah, he keeps coming too mm -hmm. and everyone's dead around <laughs> yeah. him. And... Dean has done all the work. He's gonna he's gonna know something's up, which is why you know we have to be scared because, like they said in the last episode, if he finds out that Ezekiel's in his body, mm -hmm. he's gonna. It's not gonna be good. No, no. Because then he'll die. Exactly. He expels. Yeah, and it ends with Dean basically saying that you know it's never, it's, it's never been better. I, I mm -hmm. just wrote, I wrote never it. better. I wrote, okay, I did it. all right. Never I, better. I was like, I'm like, did I write that down wrong? I'm like, it just is. It's never better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never better. So, uh, I think, I, overall, this is a really good episode. I like this episode a lot, too. Yeah. I, more than the first one. The first one yeah. overwhelmed me a little bit. Mm -hmm. It was so much going on, and I was getting confused and going, oh, my goodness, this is so many storylines happening at once. And it was still the same thing with this episode, so many storylines happening at once. But I felt like there was a little bit, it flowed better maybe this episode. Mm -hmm. Maybe that was the direction. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it was a different director this week than it was last week, but it definitely felt like everything flowed together a little bit more. It was easier to follow this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think I think because now things are kind of getting laid out. Mm -hmm. Like, we know what Abdon, you know, she's back. Now we know what she wants. She wants to be basically be, the she said, long live the queen. Mm -hmm. So she wants to be queen of hell. We know what she's doing, and to do that, she has to basically go into hell, get all the demons to come out of hell to Earth. It's very complicated, <laughs> but I also feel like with you know with the gates of heaven locked, it's going to be easier easier for her maybe because there is you know there are these angels on Earth, but we don't know if they actually have powers now mm -hmm. still or if and whether they're, they're out to do good or bad. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's definitely going to be. <laughs> It's just going to be a fight this whole season between demons and angels on Earth. Mm -hmm. And there's also basically... There Cohabitating. Was, and there were so many wars in heaven before this, like last season, that I think all those people that fell, now there's going to be there's there's going to be wars between the angels on Earth, too. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, maybe, you know, coming up, but I'm not sure. Uh, 
So it's gonna be it's gonna be a mess on Earth here. It it's gonna is be a lot of dead bodies, and that's not good. <laughs> I did I did miscast this episode. Yeah. I was looking, you know, I wanted to see what happened after the whole laundry mm-hmm. incident last week and him having to like live as an angel. So I'm assuming he'll be back mm-hmm. next week, you know, and mm-hmm. a little bit we'll find out what's been going on, how he's been living life as a yeah. human. Yeah, I guess yeah, I should say. Now. Yeah, he's human. So. Uh, you know, and see what how that's going to play into mm. things. And obviously, at some point, he's going to meet up with Dean and Sam. We just don't know when that's going to happen because mm. he is in Colorado at this at this point. Yeah, and they're in their bunker. I'm trying to think. Where is exactly it? I where couldn't remember. I'm trying yeah. to remember exactly where it is. I can't remember from last season. Um, I think I want to say it's like Missouri or something, but I can't really remember exactly. We'll have to look that up. Or we'll someone to, at home. Well, someone yeah. at home can. Someone at home, yeah. let us know yeah. where where they're staying. We'll f- yeah. we'll find out too. Yeah. Speaking of everyone at home, right now they should go to iTunes, like us, comment on us, give us a five star rating, and also while you're at iTunes, you can go check out the Adventures of Zero Buddies. Maria Menounos. Yes. A uh, lot. Great cast. Very funny movie. Uh, Maria's in it. Uh, Christopher Lloyd, Artie Lang. It's narrated by uh, Henry Winkler. Phil's got a cameo in it. Yeah, yep, he does. You want to see it. <laughs> Phil has multiple cameos. Oh, he in does? It. Oh, yeah. I only saw one. He's all over that movie. Oh, oh. <laughs> now I got to go back and watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the. I saw one. Uh, so so uh, let us know. Send us your comments of, of when you see Phil in uh, Adventures of Serial Boys. Yeah. And you can find it. It's on DVD. It's on iTunes. So check it out while it's downloading from iTunes. Give us five star ratings and give every other after afterbus show a five star rating, because that just helps everyone here. It makes after everyone bus. happy, yes. and don't we all want to be happy? Yes. And yes. leave us comments. Let us know how we're doing. All we're here for you. Things. We're here for you guys. So exactly. yeah, let us know what you want to hear. Let us know what you want to see more of or hear more of and stuff. We're here yeah. to make you guys enjoy an after show about. Yeah, because I can about talk about. Shows. Supernatural for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> Literally all last week, everyone's like, so how'd it go? And I'm like, oh, my God. I don't even know where to begin. Do you want me to tell you? Crowley's locked in a trunk. You got this angel coming down, beating somebody else up. He puts his hand down on the ground, which kills people. And then, like, some guy's dying, but another guy enters his body, and I'm try- and everyone's like, okay, like, I don't don't tell me. I don't I don't want to know. And I'm, You're like, start from the beginning. Start yeah. from season one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go from there. And then you'll then watch our after show. Then you'll know exactly what we're talking How about. How we feel. Um, so let's get on to some news and gossip. After Buzz TV News. You can go first. All right. Well, since I missed Cass mm-hmm. today in the episode and I missed seeing him, I found out that he is going to be directing episode 17 this season. Nice. So That's he's good. got a little directing gig this season. Um, but no word yet on whether Jensen Ackles will be directing an episode like he did in season mm-hmm. six, seven, and eight. He did gotcha. direct at least one episode mm-hmm. in each of those seasons. Um, so no news yet whether he's going to be directing one this season or not. I feel like he will. I hope he you does. Know, let's just keep the streak going. Yeah. Come on, Jensen. Keep it, keep it up. Let's keep going on this. Um, <laughs> and then uh, some stuff I, I got. Yeah. Um, there was an interview uh, with TV Line with Jeremy Carver, who's the executive producer. And uh, he basically said, you know, Dean's decision to keep Sam's possession a secret uh, is basically, you know, it's it saved Sam's life, um, but arguably at the expense of other lives. So... Uh-oh. If these other lives will be coming back or, you know, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know, you know, he's saving Sam, but he's going to hurt, you know, more people mm-hmm. in the end. So that'll be interesting to see. And um, for next week's episode, um, basically, like I, I was saying, the, you know, the war in heaven. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was all these uh, angelic uh, factions. So next week, we're going to be seeing, you know, one of these factions. And uh, the, I think maybe I think their leader, his name is uh, Bartholomew. So okay. we'll see. That should be interesting. We'll see, you know, where he where he lies. If he's, you know, for them, against them, you know, against Crowley. Well, I feel like they're all maybe against Crowley, but who you likes never know Crowley? Anymore. I like Crowley. You like Crowley? Yeah, yeah. He, I like he's death. funny. <laughs> 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 I think Crowley's one of the best characters on this show. <laughs> I just he just he every time he's on screen he. He just delivers. Like he that delivers. guy's He's a really interesting. good actor. He's so interesting yeah. to watch. I mean, that mm-hmm. whole scene with his, uh, with the flashback. Yeah. And you you see it mm-hmm. all in his just in his face. It was 
yeah, yeah. very interesting to watch. Mm. That's what I'm hoping for. I want a flashback episode. I want. I, I, I like wanna, that too. I want Crowley's backstory. I want to hear what happened. I there. want a movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a quick two-hour movie. How about the king yeah. and the queen? So you have one on Abaddon and then one mm. on Crowley, and then yeah. you get the king and queen. They should get married, <laughs> and they should rule together. I don't think they like each other much, though. We, we can tell. We need to make that happen. <laughs> when Crowley basically, what he said, he told Kevin, uh, "What do you? Who oh, have written down?" He said, "What do you want me to do?" Um, hold on. Do, 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 Crowledon. Do. Yeah, yeah. He said he that's going to be their name, Crowledon. Yes, nice. <laughs> I can't find it written down, but basically, <laughs> basically, you like roast, roast the whore or something like that. So oh, yeah. no love lost between I those know. two. Uh, Wishful but, thinking. Yeah. All right. So is that all you have for news and gossip? That's all I have. Okay. So let's Just go directorial. into some predictions. Okay. And now you're after Buzz TV predictions. All right, Chad. You know I'm gonna oh, let you, you go, go first, first okay. this week. Uh, I say it's not. I feel like not gonna be too long until Sam either starts to have maybe some visions of Ezekiel. Or he starts getting some kind of. I feel like they're gonna their memories are are gonna meld together some somehow. Mm -hmm. Maybe just mistakenly or something. Somewhere along the line, he's gonna figure out. You know, something's not wrong. Something that something's not right here. He's gonna start mem remembering things that mm -hmm. are not his memories, which I think would be interesting to see how that plays out. And um, I'm trying to think what other prediction I have. Oh, you go now. Well, I think that actually Dean. Eventually is going to feel so guilty about the whole thing and he's going to keep having these moments where he sees Sam You know reflecting on something as maybe Ezekiel Because like you said, there's we're gonna I think we're gonna notice traits of his behavior that come out more and more mm. as the episodes go on mm. as they he becomes further delved into his body mm. that we're gonna see little bits and pieces of Ezekiel and it's really gonna bother Dean so I'm hoping that Dean is going to say something to Sam because, like we said, if Sam figures it out and gets it out of his body, then he's dead. So mm -hmm. I think it has to come from Dean in order to make sure that he stays alive. Yeah. And I, I mean, I think at the end of this episode, when Sam was kind of sitting there, like, thinking, I think Dean was kind of like... Who are you right now? Are mm -hmm. you Sam or are you? They're they're you like Z? you said, they're melting together mm -hmm. and they can't live forever as one, can they? I don't think. I mean, he could. I mean, if he could, if Sam doesn't kick him out of his body, he can you know basically possess him until until maybe someone kills Ezekiel out of his body. But okay. other than that, I, th I mean, I think I think he can stay there as long as Sam doesn't you know reject him being there. But I do think that I think I think it's eventually going to come down to if Sam's going to do something. Some kind of like angel magic, and they're gonna be like, "What?" And he's gonna be mm -hmm. like, "What did I just do?" <laughs> like, he's gonna like, you but know, vaporize some Ezekiel demons or something. Do, but that would be Ezekiel doing that, though. So then, technically, Sam wouldn't be aware of it because he clears Sam's memory of all that stuff. But maybe, but I think maybe further down, if if they're getting so meld together that they okay. can't, that Sam's just gonna, you know, be able to tap into that somehow in uh -huh. his mind, like another sense of yeah. him. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I yeah. like that. So that'll be interesting to see. I like that. So, and I think that music wraps us up here for this All week right. of Supernatural here at After Buzz. Uh, so where can they find you, Lindsay? They can find me. Y'all can find me on Facebook at Facebook.com backslash Lindsay Wegner, Twitter.com backslash Lindsay Wegner, or my blog, which I just updated today with all sorts of fun fantasy football information. LindsayWagner.blogspot.com nice. and Tom. You can me find me find on Twitter at TomTheCom and you can also find me here tomorrow night uh, Abby's Ultimate Dance at 8 and WWE Main Event at 10 o'clock. And you can find us both here every week here on Supernatural at 9 o'clock uh, here at AfterBuzz. So we'll see you guys next week. See you next week. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.